Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Look at the sunshine. Yeah, it looks really, really nice outside, but it's cold. <laughs> Haley and I went for a walk today around the block and I thought it would be okay without a bigger jacket on than this, which by the way, if you've seen this, this is my Stampin' Up coat. Yeah, it's... um. There's another Stampin' Up! something on it somewhere. It's maybe on the back? I don't know. But it's really nice. It's nice and thick. I can't remember if we got it in Alaska. I don't know. But anyways, it was cold. It was windy. My ears got cold. And I'm such a baby about being cold. <laughs> don't worry. I'll have a hot flash shortly. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Sonia. I know some more people just popped in. I missed your names. Karen is here. Welcome. I hope you're having a good Friday. I have been super busy today and I feel like I've just been spinning my wheels, but I got a lot done. So I really can't say I've been spinning my wheels, but I did not get done what I set out for my Friday to get done. I got all my, I had um, some people who had won some stamp sets from me that are my team members. So those came, I got those all packaged up in the mail. Some other things that it seems like I've just been mailing stuff out periodically all day, getting it ready to for the mailman to pick up. And I cleaned my office up so that Haley won't trip and fall <laughs> because it was, and it was such a mess. I just couldn't function anymore. And that's kind of where I get to, right? It's like, it's like just so much. I vacuumed, and we'll talk about that in a little while because I'm pretty sad that I did that. But, um, yeah, so what else happened today? Oh, I have some mail. Hang on. I got some mail. I got quite a bit of mail. So, well, I have some cards that Haley set over there that I didn't show everybody, so I need to do that too. But, yeah, I had a really good day today. Oops. I didn't get done what I intended on getting done. Um, but I got a whole bunch of other stuff done. And one thing I did get done is I went through all my emails. Hi, Haley. Hi, Francie. Cindy's here. Becky. So um, that's like a huge feat for me. And then when I get done, I'm like, oh, I have a whole bunch of new customers that I need to register um, in my newsletter software. So I did not do that yet. And then I always send out a little PDF gift for everybody that orders from me. So the new customers, if you've ordered from me and you're a new customer, you didn't get that yet. So um, I'm hoping to get that done later tonight because that is a whole different ball game. I have all the places I have to load you into my database. I have to invite you to my Facebook VIP group, which is a private group for people that only order from me and my team members. And um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things I have to do. Let me close my blinds. That sun is getting just right there. And then I'm going to have to turn on some lights here. Ooh, hang on. What's happening here? There we go. Okay, is that better? That's better. There's still a little bit of blind lines, but at least I'm not blinded by the light. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Angela from Nevada. Welcome. I see Connie is here tonight. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of stuff done. I'm feeling pretty good. But again, I didn't get anything done that I was like, I shouldn't say anything, but it's like, okay, today I'm going to do this. And that didn't happen. <laughs> Nancy says I make lives seem so easy. Nancy, this face, these Facebook lives are the easiest thing that I do in my, in my wonderful job that I love more than lots of things. <laughs> I'm not going to see more than life because that's not true. But yeah, Facebook Lives are very easy um, for me. I love doing them. It's all the after work that comes about, or the before work. <laughs> but yeah. So hi, Sharon. Hi, Nanette. Hi, Sue. I see Barbara popping in. So I received, um, well, actually, when I was cleaning today, I went over by Haley's side and I found some cards that I did not share with you guys yet and I need to do that. She got some baby cards so I have to show you this one. A cute little duck there on the envelope and then look at how adorable this is. And I know it's backwards but it says baby and it says precious little baby with the little duck and then look at this. Is that not the cutest little thing ever? Yeah. 
it's pretty sweet. This is from Marilyn Dakins, and um, I love these kinds of cards. I just think they're so, so adorable. So thank you, Marilyn. She had it propped up over there, displayed so pretty. We got another card here, and hang on just a second. Let me get this together. Let's see, I don't know who this is from yet, but check this one out. I don't think I showed this one to you guys either. And then, hang on a second. Oh, oh. Let me see if I know what I'm doing. This opens up like this and then like this. So how cute is that? Yeah, I like this. This says, welcome little one to Haley and family, best wishes with your new baby girl. She has so many people praying for her germ-free arrival. <laughs> this is from June. So yes, we are praying for her germ-free arrival. Look at how pretty that is. And it's, deck yeah, she, she did just a beautiful job on this. I love these fun folds. Maybe we'll make something like this soon. I could actually show you how to make this one too because I have made these before and I think they're just so clever. Okay, and then, oh, I'm like, why is this address here? But this is um, a thank you card she needs to send out. Here is another one that came and this is from Patricia and I wanna say Bladen or Blader. This is super cool. She was mesmerized by this. Okay, so it's all folded up like this and it says, I sh I am sure you know how to display this card. All the best to baby Weedley. <laughs> and it, it's, it's a square and then it opens up like this and you put this right down here and it sits just like this. Hang on, I know there's more. Check that out, you guys. Is that not the cutest little thing ever? I actually have a video on these. Oh, and then this kind of goes back like that. So here's the card. Super, super cute. Holy cow. I love this. I, it's just like it's just the prettiest little display, right? It's a great way to display a card. I also have made these. I have one on my, on my YouTube channel and I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what stamp set I used with it and then that would spark my memory as to where it's at and how long ago. But um, I can't remember what this kind of card is called either. But it's cool, right? Thank you very much. Today, I got this, whoops, whoops. Hang on, things are falling. I got this beautiful shaker card. There's all kinds of little goodies in there. Look at that. There we go. This is from Wendy Morse and it says, congratulations. Dear Kelly, thank you for all you've done, especially since the home quarantine. Congrats on reaching another milestone towards your million dollar goal. Wow. But I'm not surprised as I see how hard you work. Sincerely, Wendy Morse. And thank you, Wendy. She decorated the inside with some of the little flowers. But isn't that so, so pretty? I loved this die. I thought it was super cool. Okay. And we have a couple more cards. This one is from Sherry Simon. Look at how pretty that is. I love these daisies. I absolutely love them. I love what she did with the circles and the smile. I always like a card that says smile. It's always been a thing for me. Like if a stamp set has the word smile in it, it's mine. <laughs> and she says, thanks for the smile and everything else. Really enjoying your daily videos. And she did a little decoration on the inside too. Good for you, Sherry. And we have a card from Trudy Hudson. Check this out, you guys. Look at, it's a kite. It's super cute. I absolutely love it. She's got little bows tied on there and they're put on with, I think, mini dimensionals. But, and then here's something really cool. It's got a magnet holding it closed and then it opens up like this. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I love these kinds of things. This is life is a beautiful ride. Kelly, thank you for all the videos and inspiration. Your smile and personality brighten my day. Hoping your baby comes early. Thank you. <laughs> being a grandmother is a good job, but being a great grandmother is twice as much spoiling. <laughs> Hugs, Trudy Hudson. Trudy, you're so cute. I love that. And I am feeling like, I'm feeling like we're going to have some news. Like tomorrow, I'm going to be telling you things are happening. 
and uh, yeah. Oh, and Trudy says she cased this from Sam Calcott, a UK card crafter. The video and pieces require strictly following instructions and extra DSP. So it sounds like Trudy may have had a couple runs at this. <laughs> I know how that is, right? I totally get it. Thank you so much. I love all of these cards. They're beautiful. I have to give Haley back these ones. So I'll set those over on her side and that envelope. But thank you guys so much for the cards. It's always fun to get some fun mail, right? Now, we have a winner from yesterday. And let's see. I am going to announce that right now. Um, I am giving away a half a pack of the Flower and Foils Specialty Designer Series paper. This is so beautiful. I love, love, love it. And Heather Osborne of Omaha, Nebraska, you are the big winner. I didn't see if Heather actually popped in tonight. Um, are you on here, Heather? But yes, we have a winner. So that'll go out to you in the mail tomorrow. Oh, I got to give that card back to Haley too, but I'm going to leave it right here for a little bit. <laughs> okay, let me get rid of that. And I'm still eating some of my jelly beans. Like I didn't mow the whole basket and they're really good. I don't know what kind they are, but they're the really good kind. Not like chintzy jelly beans. I'm kind of a jelly bean snob. Not that I eat a lot of them, but when I buy them, they need to be the really good ones. So, I'm going to pull you guys up on my screen so I can see what's going on. We get ready to flip this baby around. Oh, I have to tell you some funny things. So, today, um, Steve, Haley was calling Steve Linda all day like Linda, her manicurist, because she also has a and while hers were not as old as mine, they still needed a little attention and we can't go to salons right now and acrylic nails are something else. Like hers were not coming off. Mine started kind of breaking a little bit, but hers didn't at all. And that is just a good sign that our manicurist does an exceptional job, right? So she got her father to get out his Dremel tool. And if I remember when we're done, I will post a picture of him working on her nails with this Dremel, which is what they do with acrylic nails at the salon. He did a really good job. So he did this, shortened them up. She filed the ends off a little bit to make them smooth. And then I painted them. And while I was painting her nails, I painted my nails too. They still are kind of horrendous, but they look better. And I still didn't get off the red spots on this one, so it's kind of lumpy. But whatever, right? Where am I going to go? <laughs> no place. So, guys are going to have to put up with my little lumpy nails. I know you don't care, but it's just kind of funny. Ooh, who just said that? Lori just said, she's a jelly bean snob too. Is it Lori? Yes, she's a jelly bean snob too. Yeah, I don't like those really sicky sweet ones. I don't know um, who makes those, but... And these are really pretty. Look at how pretty they are, right? These are good jelly beans. Oh, look. We have a petal pink one. Look how pretty that is. Mm, I love it. Some pink and some green and some blue. Anyways, sorry I'm chewing. I'm hungry. I might go get fish after this because I like to try to help keep our economy going. And um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel it. That kind of go, can go both ways. Like, should I really be doing that? I don't know. Should I really be ordering food from someplace? I, I don't know. But I guess as long as they're allowing our restaurants to be open, I want to help support them and keep them hopefully in business because we don't really know what's going to happen from all this, right? Right. So Mary says, Steve for hire. <laughs> I know what was oh I, it's on my phone I can't even tell you what the picture said but it was really funny um what color is the baby's nursery well it is gold shocking right gold and like a rococo rose and wood grain so she's got kind of a very rustic thing going on in the nursery it's so so pretty Haley, maybe when we're done, you can pop me some pictures of the nursery and I will post them on our page because I know I posted them before, but that's been a while ago and there's new people watching. 
they might like to see it. Oh, Jay just made zucchini lasagna. That sounds, lasagna sounds delicious. I don't know about the zucchini part, but I'd be up to try it. <laughs> sour warheads for Jean. All right, well, I got my sour patches. I love those. Sour patch kids. Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm going to get some popcorn tonight. And um, I just had a papered chef party online, and I am ordering the family size popcorn where you make it in a bowl in the microwave. I know you can do it on your own and all that, but it just looks cute. And I have all this free money to spend with Pampered Chef. So um, I'll be making my own popcorn from now on. Mm -hmm. And Connie just had a buffalo chicken salad for lunch, a light dinner, and homemade chocolate cake with ice cream. Is Bev on here tonight? I'll tell you what I had. <laughs> if Bev's not on. I had vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce, and then I threw some roasted peanuts on it, and it was delightful. So, <laughs> don't worry, Bev. I am been weighing my. I have been weighing myself, and I am still, still not gaining any weight. I don't know why, but you know, I'm still doing the same things kind of that I have been doing all along, whether we're quarantined or not. The only thing I've changed is I'm not going out to lunch. So that's probably why I'm not gaining weight because I'm still I'm still sitting on my butt forever all day long all night long. <laughs> There's Bev. <laughs> I know. Um and that's probably why I'm not gaining any weight because I'm not going out to to lunch. But I mean everything's still the same other than that. So I heard from some people that yeah, they're not going out to eat anymore and they're actually losing weight. So I totally get it. Ooh, eating tin roof Sunday. That sounds delightful. Grilled cheese sandwiches, Tijuana flats. Hey, you know what I had today? Steve, remember I was complaining that Steve made the shrimp stir fry, but then he ate all the rice, so I just had to eat it plain, which is better for, you know, the carbs and stuff, but whatever. Um, so I was complaining to him about that because he's like, well, there's all kinds of food in the refrigerator. There's the shrimp stir fry and I'm like yeah but you ate all the rice and I could make some rice but I'm just lazy and I don't want to and he says have it on a tortilla you can have a um a fajita shrimp fajita wrap and I'm like oh that's genius so that's what I did today I put it on a tortilla with some raw onions and some cheese and some sour cream delightful so I ate all of the shrimp and then I threw away the rest <laughs> There's a lot of vegetables in there, and I put that on my thing, too, but who's going to eat the vegetables without the shrimp in it? And I thought, eh, it's been in the fridge long enough. It needs to go now. So I ate all the shrimp out and some of the vegetables and tossed it. So he can't complain that I don't eat all the things. All right. I said I was going to bring me up on the screen, but then I went off on a tangent, <laughs> and I never did. Ooh, baked potatoes with white chili. That sounds interesting. I've never had that combination before. Haley wanted a baked potato the other day when we were going to order shrimp, but then nothing was open. So, yeah. Oh, coconut shrimp. I love coconut shrimp, Shelly. Oh, I love, love, love anything with coconut in it. My family hates coconut. Just hates it. And I've never understood it. But um, I can't ever make anything with coconut unless I'm going to eat it all myself. And when Haley was going to order jumbo shrimp the other day for lunch, I was going to order stuffed shrimp because I love those. But then the place was closed, so it didn't matter. We didn't get any shrimp. We got, I had a crispy chicken salad and she had a cheese pizza that she said looked wonderful, but ugh, it's just cheese. <laughs> we had this conversation already, right? Okay. I think we're ready to flip things over. I have some sad news for you. I'm a little upset about it, and I don't know what I'm going to do about it because it's really, like, distressing me a lot. We'll talk about it. Are you guys ready to flip? I think we're ready to flip. Shrimp's gross, Julie says. No, I love shrimp. Come on, Julie. I know. My friends, Dina and Barb, they do not like seafood, I think, for the most part. I don't think Dina likes shrimp either. But she doesn't like eggs of any kind either, and I don't know. I just can't live like that. Hang on. We're going to flip around. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness and I'll let you know when you can pop them back open. Let's see. I've got my phone plugged in. I'm pretty sure. Whoops. My tape is sitting on it. So hang on. 
There we go. Okay, I got that done. And I think you can open. So, are you guys totally excited that all the dies, well, I don't know if all of them are, but a lot of our dies that have been on back order forever are now back in business. That was such a relief, right? Because, you know, especially for those of us that are doing online classes where you get the class free if you order the, you know, the bundle and then you can't even get the bundle. So then how do you do the free class? And oh, it's just such a nightmare. It's just, ugh. But um, believe me, Stampin' Up! doesn't like back orders any more than we do or you do because it costs them nothing but extra money and it's not good for business and they try everything they possibly can to avoid it. But we never know. You just never know how popular something is going to be. And you can't be sitting with millions of dollars in inventory that isn't moving, right? I mean, that's kind of, that's how it goes. So today... I decided to get out my Bonanza Buddies again, and when I'm done making this cute, very simple little card, I am going to show you guys a ton, I think, of swap cards. I searched and searched for them because today I cleaned up and then I can't find anything, right? So I cleaned up and I searched and searched until I found my cards that I've made, swap cards that I've received. So I'll be sharing a whole bunch of those with you. And let me take my jacket off because I'm starting to get very warm. I just turned off my space heater under my desk before I came on. <laughs> and now I'm sweating. Yeah. So here we go. I'm getting out the pieces here. We are going to revisit a fun fold that I made um, just the other day. And I actually had this piled on my desk. Like I have all of these baggies. All of these baggies are ready for videos. And some of them are online class videos. Some of them are videos for this. I was going to do a card that Haley made with the Ornate Garden for tonight. And then I found this one in my pile over there. And I decided to make it because the dyes are back in stock. So it's a good way to get the word out. And if you've been thinking about getting this, this, this card might push you right over the edge. And that's my job. <laughs> Remember... <clears throat> If you plan on placing an order with me, and so many new people are ordering from me, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You are helping me get to that $1 million goal so much faster. This is my host code right now. You can always find that in the right-hand column of my blog, and my blog address is right here. But if you use this code when your order is under $150, I really appreciate it. If your order's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. You get a minimum 10% reward in free product of your choice when your order hits $150. So I want you to get that reward. So don't use this code if your order's over $150. All right, let's get busy here. So I am going to take Coastal. Oh, I don't even have any measurements here. That's great. Um, Coastal Cabana. I think I can handle it, though. Coastal Cabana is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we have Whisper, Whisper White. <laughs> we have Basic Black that is four by five and a quarter. So we're just going down in quarter inch increments. So we're going to get our glue running here. If you ever can't get your glue running, if you just take it and grab to the end like that, there's usually like a little dry spot in it. And it'll, it'll start flowing just like that. Just like magic. So I'm going to do this, and I love these two colors together. I just think they're like almost magical. It reminds me of Disney, and I don't, I have no idea why. It just does. Then we have this cute paper. This is the Birthday Bonanza paper. <clears throat> now, I did an online class. Hang on, I'm going to grab my little package. Yes, I do. I have several of these left. So I did an online class with Birthday Bonanza. I have actually done two of them, but this is my most recent one. It's from um, March. And I have several of these pre-cut cardstock packs left. It looks like there's about five or six over there. When you order the bundle of products as listed on my blog in the online classes, you get the online class for free. You get the pre-cut cardstock as a bonus. And what's the other thing? Pre-cut cardstock is that? I don't know. Oh, the online, the online class and the pre-cut cardstock. As long as I still have these in stock. Once I run out of these, I don't cut more. I just take that button down off of my, off my blog. So 
You can order the whole bundle and I want to say it's around $106. Let me look quick. You'll find everything in the right-hand column under online classes on my blog. There's a button. And let me find that birthday bonanza. Here we go. $93. There you go. $93. And you're going to get the stamp set and the dies, the ruched ribbon, the assorted pom-poms, the corrugated 3D embossing folder, or any other folder of your choice if you have that one. The Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper, a PDF file that features eight cards plus a bonus card and two treat boxes, all with exclusive video tutorials for each and the pre-cut cardstock pack. So you get, when you order the whole bundle, you get this and the class for free. Or you can do option number three for $35. You can buy the class and the pre-cut cardstock pack for two boxes and nine cards total. Or if you're outside the U.S., you can get the online class for $25. So just wanted to make sure you guys all know that and are aware of that. But it's a super fun little class. And it's got a lot of stuff in it. Oh, I think I'm going to have some glue problems here. So now this piece is going to be 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. So it's just a quarter inch smaller. Yep, do you see my glue is oozing out right there? Hang on, let me wipe it on my pants. <laughs> you guys know I do that all the time, right? And then we've got all these little pieces. So I think that might be a scrap. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, it is. Um, uh, I need the die. We're gonna bring out our bird here. The toucan bird. There's all kinds of great dies in here. I wish I had my um, little die diagram, but I, I'm not sure that I made one for this one. I just don't know. So anyways, are you ready for my really sad news? So as I was getting my stamps out and mounting them on blocks so we could be ready to roll here tonight, I've lost my pom-pom. And what made me really sad about it is today I chose to clean my office, which means I vacuumed the floor. Can we all mourn the loss of my pom-pom here? Because I am really sad. I will show you what I did with the pom-pom. I used it on this card. I've used it on a lot, almost all the cards that I've made, and I absolutely love it as a little decoration. It's just the cutest little thing ever. And even though that's just a tiny little element in the stamp set, it might push me over the edge to buy another one. Like, that's how much I love the pom-pom. So, I almost was crying. Not really, but I mean, I was like, oh, are you kidding me? Where is that pom-pom? So as I was digging around in here and I thought, well, did it stick to something in here? And I'm looking all over and all of a sudden I felt something hit my boot. And I'm like, yes, there's my pom-pom. But guess what? It wasn't. It was this little hat, the little striped hat, which can also be an ice cream cone. That's what fell on my boot. And then I'll show you my boots. I have the cute ones on again. Then I'm like feeling all over my boots, like did maybe that little pom-pom fall in here and get stuck in my cute little boots, but it didn't. So I'm pretty sure I sucked it up with a vacuum cleaner. Why today? My office has been a disaster for a week. Why would I pick today, right? So anyways, make sure you keep track of your, keep track of your stuff and don't lose your little pom-pom because that was really sad. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here, two can. I am going to bring in my big shot and I need all my little platforms here. Oh, I guess I got, a, I got an extra one. We don't, we don't need two thin die adapters. And I'm going to grab some of my, hang on, I've got some temporary tape here. Okay, I'm going to grab some temporary tape. I like to make sure that's not too sticky, but one of the things I really like about this designer paper is that our dies actually die cut the images that are on here, which is pretty cool, right? So you can die cut this or you can stamp it and color it in, whatever you want to do. But today, I'm just going to die cut this one. If I wanted to, I could stamp it and cut it out. Die cut it just like, you know, stamp it and die cut it. Gosh. <sighs> So here we go. I see my screen isn't scrolling again, you guys. I'm really sorry, but uh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna dig through the vacuum cleaner. I, I don't know. That just is gross. 
And <laughs> don't worry, I've done it before. But that little, that little stamp is so tiny. If I dug through the vacuum cleaner, I don't even know if I'd find it. Like, because it's pretty little. Okay, here is our little die cut toucan. And isn't that just so cool, right? Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our two-inch circle punch. This is where the um, pom-poms would have come in. So what I would do is I would use Coastal Cabana and I would stamp this pom-pom all over this layer, but I, I don't have. I don't have that. Uh, then I need a black layer. Hang on. I forgot to get a black layer. And that Starburst Punch. Now, you guys, some of you told me that the other day when I put up the product list of all the things when I used the two inch punch and the Starburst Punch, I accidentally grabbed the product for the two and a half inch or something punch. The two inch punch is the one that matches the Starburst Punch. And I had several people tell me that. So, first of all, Thank you. I always want to be notified when I have something wrong because I will get it corrected as soon as possible. I just happened to start typing two inch and then that one popped up and I grabbed it not looking at it close enough because that's how my program works. But, um, and secondly, I was really excited that everybody looks at that product list because oftentimes I wonder if I'm wasting my time putting that in there. I don't know. You know, like how beneficial is it? So I was pretty excited about that. All right, I think we are going to add this white circle to the two inch white circle to our starburst. And these two punches, I asked you guys the other night, who if you don't have these two, you should get them. Two inch circle starburst, they layer together perfectly and it makes card making so simple. You could just put a sentiment on here and put this on the front of a card with some designer paper. It's oh so pretty. I'm going to keep this layer too because if I have another card that covers this up, I can still use this, right? So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. And yeah, Haley and I were talking today. I am pretty sure that Weedly is coming tonight. And it's funny because my friend Kate, um, she sent a message and said that they told her daughter or no, it was a good friend of hers. When she was pregnant, um, the doctor told her that she wasn't, she was at least a week out from having the baby. So go home and I'll see you next week. And she went home because nothing was happening. Nothing was going on. Nothing looked like it was going to have a baby here. She went home and she had the baby that night. So Kate said, you just don't listen to what they say. And Haley and I had a good chuckle out of that. So I'm thinking tonight, it's going to be tonight. That baby is coming. We're going to get her in and out of that germy hospital. Now, wouldn't this look cute with little pom-pom stamped in the background? I know. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Next, I have... Whoops, hang on. I just got glue all over my hand. Don't worry. I have baby wipes. My Huggies, they don't have one and dones anymore. Those are the kind I used to use. These are now the Refreshing Clean. Huggies, by the way, is a KC product, and they are made right here in my local area. So that's good. Okay, then this is two and three quarters by 11, scored at five and a half, and I'm gonna measure that for sure because that was just a really good guess. It is two and three quarters. Look at, I have a gilded, no, no. Is that a rhinestone? No, it's a gilded gem right there. I like to bedazzle my things. And then let me show you this one. This makes me giggle every time. This is my remote. Look how filthy it is. <laughs> Don't look at how filthy it is. But I like to keep a diamond on there. No, it just happened. Anyways, um, I'm going to leave that out so I can tell you what's going on here. So two and three quarters scored at five and a half. It's 11 inches long. Did anybody see my bone folder? Oh, here it is. And we are going to burnish that edge. And then this is going to be two and a half by, by I want to say, five and a quarter. Yep, two and a half by five and a quarter. This is Coastal Cabana. We're going to add that right here. 
Oops. How about if we put it on the layer so that it looks even? That's a brilliant idea, Kelly. And then I have the toucans. And you can, of course, use any layer of this that you want. And this is going to be two and a quarter by five, I think. Let me look. Yep, two and a quarter by five. Oh, I like that little gem on my ruler. Okay, is this looking familiar, you guys? Because we just made a card like this the other day. But that other card, that two cards that we made, this is where I got the idea from. All right, now. We're going to, I had out Bermuda Bay, but I think instead I'm going to bring in Coastal Cabana and my Memento Black Ink Pad. And I've got the, I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. We're going to use that in the black. Perfect. And then we've got the Happy Birthday stamp. And again, all of these are from that Bonanza Buddies. I'm going to do that one. Look how cute that is. Then we have a three-quarter inch strip of DSP. And I just like to put that down to decorate a little bit down here. And this one is, did I already tell you, two and a half by five and a quarter. Okay, hang on. We're going to get rid of that. I still need this one. I need a little scrap of Coastal Cabana. Hang on just a second. Yeah, somebody just said it might show up when you least expect it. It might. I mean, it's completely possible. I was like ready to celebrate when I felt something hit my boot. And then it was the hat. It wasn't the, the little pom-pom. Um, but I was like, oh, there it is. I was so excited. And then it was like such a letdown. You guys see my other punch that I need? Oh, here it is. I thought, I'm like, I thought I got that out. This is the classic label punch, and it goes perfectly with this set. Now, if you're going to order the two-inch circle and the starburst, just get this one, too. <laughs> I kill myself. Oh, I use this one a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You just get whatever you can. It makes you happy. That's the most important part. <laughs> But if you're going to get those other two, you might as well just add this one on there. Yeah. Um, and we're going to add some mini dimensionals here. Da, 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 da. I'm going to set that right off to the side. Here's my card. Here's my black. This is going to go inside here. Is this looking familiar, you guys? I know, I kind of hated making like the same type of fun fold so soon after I made the other two, but I'll show them to you too in case somebody missed it. It's it's worthy. These are super, super cute and very easy. They have a big wow factor. It's an easy kind of a fun fold with a big wow factor. And of course, the designer series paper, just the color combinations that go together are always, you know, very stunning. Now. I'm going to put glue on the back only of the left side. And then we're going to bring in our little toucan, just like that. Hang on, I got a little glue booger on my finger. And here comes our little celebrate you, just like that. Oh, I love it. Look at how cute that is, right? Uh, yeah. And then I would also decorate my envelope flap. And I forgot to get the paper out. But you need two and a half by six inch to decorate your envelope flap for this one. But isn't that cute? It would be cuter if it had pom-poms stamped in the background of this layer. But it turned out pretty good. Now, here's the original one that I made. I think I made this. I'm pretty sure that I did. But this just uses a different pattern. Here's the pom-poms in the background looking all cute, right? And then the koala, not a bear, it's a marsupial. <laughs> but this was a really cute one. Mango Melody is the ink that I used here. Everything else is the same, right? And then if you caught me the other day, these are the two cards that I made because I had this one sitting over here waiting for a video. So I thought that was kind of cool. These use the Sia Silhouette um, bundle, the paper and the dies. Oh, and then 
the wishing you brighter days to come that's coming from the beautiful you stamp set and we use the I can't remember if this is noble peacock rhinestones or the holiday basic rhinestones but some colored rhinestones to bling it up a little bit so there we go birthday bonanza available again well this has always been available but now the dies are available they're ready to be sold and I've had several people ask me today their dies are on back order. They were able to back order them and you know still pay for them before they shut off the ordering button. They're just in the warehouse last night. Stamp it up will get them out as soon as possible. And I know that back orders take precedence. So they're working as hard as they can to get all those back ordered dies out. So Char says Weedley's supposed to be born on the 17th, and that is today, isn't it, Char? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I'm thinking it's a good day to have a new grandbaby. What have I got on my finger? I got some glue or something. All right. Oh, I promised I would show you some more cards, right? Okay, so hang on. Let me get these out of the way. Let me get my mess cleaned up here. And I'm going to leave my camera down while I'm showing you the cards because otherwise everything's backwards because I can't mirror my screen because iPhone did some type of update. And, oh, they don't even know how much they mess with my life when they do silly things like that. All right. Lots and lots and lots of projects, you guys. Just so many projects. Here's one of our little pillow boxes. <laughs> I was going to say I put a waddle on there and it just flew right off. Hang on. Uh, there we go. These things have been really abused because they're they get smashed and stuff sitting around in my little things. But I got a wobble under that little guy. Then let's see, what is this one? Nope, I don't want to show you that one. That's the mirror cats. What's this? Oh, here's a cute one. This is a little half of one of our acetate boxes. And I just put designer paper in it and tissue paper. And this guy's on a wobbler too. Super cute, right? Then I did this one. Oh, no, this is Judy Garza's. She's one of my friends. She sent this one on a wobbler. Isn't that cute? Here's um, a here's an envelope flap that's decorated with some of the designer paper. Does anybody see anything wrong with this? Yeah, these are ice cream cones, and they're all upside down. So make sure you put your paper on right side up. <laughs> yeah, one of those things. All right, here comes another one. This is really cute, right? Love these. Here's another one that I made. This one has a little tuck-in feature. Tucks in right there. Again, super cute. And these circles, I think, are those the dies in here? Let me look. Nope, they're a little bit bigger. So I just I just um, punched them. But you've got circles in here for blue. Oh, no. Look at Yes, they are. Is that a, no, that's the, oh, it's the lion head, you guys. You can use the lion's head die to do the bigger balloons. I knew there was something about the balloons. Then we have this one. I love the use of all the label punches here. That's really cute. Here's that new um, crinkled white seam binding that you can color any color. That is also, it says it's still on back order, but it's orderable now. So if you want to add it to an order, I love this because you can use your blends and color it absolutely any color you want. That was another thing we've been waiting for forever. What else do I have here? I thought this one was really cool. I love the tag. This is a nice card because it's not for a child. You could give this to an adult and not feel funny about it. You could do the same with this one. This one also has the little pom-poms on it. They're so cute. Oh, I was going to say, this feels substantial. And here's the inside with the pom-pom. Yeah, I'll stop whining eventually. Don't worry. Okay, hang on. Let me keep looking here. This is one of my favorites. This is Kathy Miller's card. Isn't that cute? It's a fun fold. Yeah, love it. What else do I have here? Okay, I cannot show you my online class cards because there's some of those in here too. And those are always kept exclusive. This is made by Lisa, I believe. Lisa Nyland. Do I say that right? Is it Nyland or Nyland? I always ask her that and I never remember. I'm going to remember someday. This is one of those little box cards, you guys. This is what reminded me to make the umbrella ones that I made. Isn't that cute? And then look at it. It just all folds down and goes in an envelope. 
but she used the birthday bonanza to make hers. Super, super stinking adorable. I'm going to put this back in here so that I will always know that this is Lisa's card. And there we go. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, remember these? These were so fun. Hang on, I'm having some technical difficulties here. I'm going to pull this out of here. Like I said, these get smashed in my boxes. <laughs> and now it's sticking, but it didn't want to before. Remember these little pouches? Okay. I made these. These are on a video. I wrecked the top of this hat, but that's okay. You get the idea. These fit the mug treats, chocolate cake mix, and caramel. And this is on my YouTube channel. On my blog, I've got all the instructions. This is a sweet little gift to send to somebody. And what is this one? Oh, look at this. Do, 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 do. That's cool. Here's another really neat one. I love this embossing folder in the background. That's cool. Who's that by? Christine. Christine is one of my team members. Then we've got this cutie patootie. And I like these little triangles sticking out here. Like, you know, I don't know. It's just a neat little element. That is for my friend Candy. Um, oh, this is a card that I made. Here is that party hat as an ice cream cone. And then there's also dies for the little ice cream cones. So that's super cute. And see the pom-pom stamped around again? Yeah. Love, love, love. What else do I have here? Is this one of... Here is just a little, like a tent top card. They call this a tent topper card. Here is a pocket card. I, I think I have a pocket card on my blog too. This is Kathy Miller's again. She makes neat cards always. Here's another cute one with the lion. I love how the lion is the body and the tail is separate from the mane from the head. It's pretty cool. Oh, and this is a gift card holder, you guys. So that's neat. Who made this? Denise. And here's another cute one. It's the paper. It's the birds. It's the all the things. This is cut out by hand so they could put the balloons in there, too. What else do I have? Oh, I thought this one was really cute. This is a die cut heart out of the front and then sponge dauber or maybe, oh, this little circle you can use to stamp polka dots. And then we got that koala coming out of there. Not a bear, it's a marsupial. <laughs> are my Australians laughing their butts off? I hope you are. Um, Hang on, we got some things sticking together here. Look at how cool this one is. I love the little element over here and then the star. Yeah, very, very fun. Here's another really cool one with the um, coastal weave. Oh, that reminds me, you guys. The basket weave embossing folder, gone. Stampin' Up! ran out of them, and there's absolutely no way they can get them in before the catalog is over, and that one was retiring. So this is the basket weave embossing folder. We are out of these. Just want you to know in case you try to order one and it comes up with some weird thing and you're like, what's going on? We do not have that basket weave anymore. Glad I thought, see? Coastal weave, basket weave, that's where my mind connects the things. Yeah. All right, what else do I have here? Here's another really cute card. Love this. And... Here's one on a tag. That looks neat. This is the tag that's in the set of dies. There's this big tag in there. So you get that too. Still looking, still looking. Hang on. Do I have, I thought I had another one of those little pouchy deals. Oh, I thought this one was really cute. This uses the rectangle from the rectangle stitch dies and then it cuts out a little window. I thought that was sweet. And... Oh, I got another one here. Look at this one. Here's the tag on a little flap. Isn't that cute? Who made this? Sandy Carlson. Adorable, right? Love that. Here's one with the ice cream cones on it. Glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. Who made that? Sandy Carlson. 
Let's see. I think the rest of these are online class cards and I can't show them to you. I think I am correct, but cute little things like this. I love these kind of things. You can take it to lunch and give it to your friend who has a birthday. Now let me show you the box of those. I just happen to have them right up here. These are the Betty Crocker mug treats. This is the hot fudge brownie. This one is chocolate caramel cake. And inside the box are these big pouches. Chocolate cake mix. And then this is the caramel sauce. And they fit right in here. Super cute. I'll try to find these and put a link on my blog to um, the video for this with all the dimensions and stuff. Because it's, it's so super cute. It's just a really nice way. Here, I'm, t I'm going to have lunch with my friend or dinner with my friend. I can give her a card and a little tiny gift that doesn't cost you next to anything. I don't remember how much these cost, but I'm betting they're like five bucks. You get four gifts or four, eight packets. There's four of each, the, the sauce and then the cake. So, you know, you have four gifts. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. So um, it's a really nice way to do a little something extra, but not have to. Here's what I don't like. I don't like to make my friends feel obligated like, oh, geez, she bought me a present that was so sweet, but now I have to remember to buy her a present. That's not how I roll. And um, this certainly wouldn't make anybody feel like that. You know what I mean? I hate to make people feel like, oh, geez, now what? But um, yeah, this is just a sweet little gift. It's good for a friend, a co-worker. You could do this in a Santa theme, Secret Santa. You could do these for Valentine's Day, Easter, fall themed Halloween. This would be super cute for Halloween. So lots of great ideas there. I'm going to flip you guys around now so I'm not talking to the back of your head. Because you know how I hate that. Then I can see your comments. There we go. Oh, it's also Mary Lynn says it's a good craft fair idea. It's a really good craft fair idea. Oh, Haley just said, what do you guys want the link for? I will tell her. I think they want the link. Do they want the link for this? I'm thinking that's what they're talking about. Oh, and Carrie says she made those for her daughter's teacher friends, and they loved them at Valentine's Day. I know. They're just so adorable and easy. Like, this little pouch is super duper easy. Kelly, cut the pom-pom off the party hat at last March's paper pumpkin. Oh, who said that? I'm like, what? But now I understand. Marsha, the party hat at la last year, not like this year, March, but last year, March. I don't know if I still have that kit, Marsha. I'll have to look. I'll go look. Yeah, I could probably find a pom-pom someplace else, right? Who wants a stamp set without a pom-pom? Like, I loved that little thing. I loved it. <laughs> What do you do when your die bends? Oh, that's a really good question. So I just pulled a die off the uh, Big Shot today that Haley was working with earlier. See see this? Look how... Oh, I'm putting it down there on the table. You're up here now. See how this is bent? You just bend it back. These are bendable. I have never, ever, ever broken one, you guys. Not ever. I've never had one snap. I mean... I don't know, I suppose they could, but I've never had it happen. Just bend it back. That's it. No big deal. And I see that there are still some pokey things left in here. Haley was working on pages today. We didn't get real far. Well, we. We're not making pages. She is. She didn't get real far because she had a conference call and we went for a walk and her dad had to do her nails. <laughs> hysterical. He is a man of many he wears a lot of hats, right? Yeah, today before we went for a walk, we, we went out in the garage to tell him that we were leaving. And he's like, well, okay. And he starts kind of walking back outside. He was changing the oil in the riding mower. And I don't know what else he was doing. But it was kind of funny because he was like, well, okay. I'm changing the oil and I'm doing this. And and I, I looked at Haley as we were walking out of, out of the garage. And I said, we don't care about the oil. And he heard me. <laughs> He laughed and laughed. He's like, hey, I heard that. <laughs> like, but we don't care what you're doing. 
know, it's kind of mean. But I did mean it in a joking way, but I really didn't care. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I'm still poking the things out. I could get my dye brush out and do it, but this seems like, I don't know, a lot of fun. There we go. Okay, so anyways, you can just bend it back. It works fine. Need to know a bit a big shot too. Not sure what that means. What did that just say? Does SU sell the wiggle things? No, the wobbles? No, they don't sell them. Nope, they don't. Um, I wish they did, but they don't. And I, I bent a die when separating. Hang on, I'm still looking for it. Where did it go? I bent a die when separating it from the others. I ran it through the big shot and it was good as new. There you go. Yep. I had somebody one time run one of my dies. It was a big, but like the big rose die. And it was quite intricate. And it was kind of thick and whatever. They ran it through with too many cutting plates in. So it like squished it. And then my die went like this. That was at a class. <laughs> yeah. I was not happy about that. But it's the price of doing business, right? <laughs> Yes, Bonnie's asking about new news on a new die cutting machine. Stampin' Up! does have a new die cutting machine coming. And it will be in the next annual catalog. I'm pretty sure that's what they told us. Um, the retirement list is coming out April 22nd, which is next week, Wednesday. Woohoo! We're going to know what's retiring. I also want to remind you guys, the in colors that are retiring, please, please, please do not forget to get all the accessories, cardstock, re-inkers if you have the ink pads, okay? We've got Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch, Grapefruit Grove, Blueberry Bushel, and Call Me Clover all retiring. Now, once this list goes to the public next Wednesday, they will sell out of all this stuff like previous year's history immediately. Like within a day or two, you can't get paper anymore, you can't get anything, so... Um, Heather is asking about the dress to impress class PDF. Is it still available to order? Yes, that is actually the class that I'm going to be working on, cutting and scoring all the cardstock for that and getting it out of my house. Um, that's my class that's going to take precedence. I just got everything uploaded today and I have the file ready to send out, but I'll probably wait until I am doing all of that tomorrow because if you don't have the kit... It doesn't really matter if you have the file either, I, I guess, right? Um, yeah, so we are looking forward to our new die cutting machine for sure. I'm very excited about that. And remember, you guys, that this is a stamping up channel and I am a stamping up demonstrator. And I I just would really, really, really appreciate it if we're not advertising other companies products on my channel thank you I appreciate it I know I know that it's just being helpful but what happens is people will will, will leave me they'll go out and search on the internet for other products and then yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> then I lose sales so I really do appreciate it I know I'm excited to see our new machine um, I, I'm looking forward to a new machine. All of my big shots are, I mean, they all work fine. Okay. So if I was you at home, I probably wouldn't buy a new die cutting machine unless it has some features that I really like, but my machines are missing feet. They're all beat up They're, You know, they've been used for thousands and thousands of cards. Cause I take them to all my classes and Nancy, don't worry about it. Don't even give it another thought. I know. Um, but I'm really looking forward to the new machines. So um, I think that it's going to be very exciting. I can't wait to see what it does. I can't wait to see all the new accessories that it might come with. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So, okay. Um, anybody, did I miss any questions, you guys? I need to eat. I think I'll call for fish. Is is um, Bev still watching? Bev? <laughs> I always say that because obviously Friday Night Fish Fry is not on the menu 
<laughs> but yeah, I think I'll do fish tonight. I'm pretty excited. Yes, Debbie says she doesn't look any place else for product unless Stampin' Up! doesn't have it. Well, Debbie, you are a Stampin' Up! lifer. That's, you know, and I'm, I'm like that too. But I mean, again, I sell Stampin' Up! But it's pretty funny that... Some people will say, hey, have you seen the new XYZ? And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I live in this little box where I only really buy from myself. That's it. And I live, breathe, and eat Stampin' Up! And I know there's other companies out there. I know they have great products, but this is my product. <laughs> and I love it. So Rita has a question. Jody. what is Rita's question? I did meet, I missed... I missed Rita's question. Barbecued salmon, Linda Bunce. That sounds really good. I'm not a salmon fan, though. Isn't that funny? I'll eat all kinds of fish. Salmon is not something I care for. It tastes too fishy to me. And I don't like ordering walleye in a restaurant because they don't get the skin off, and that takes too fishy, too. Yeah. Um, Rita, what's Rita's question? I'm still waiting. And I see, oh, you're welcome, Julie. Julie says, thank you so much. Betty says, as a new discount stamper, do you get credit for what I buy? Okay, so that's a really good question. Um, I earn a commission off everything you buy or sell. That's how it works. Now, does your orders using your discount through your own demo ID number, does that um, help me get towards my million dollar sales goal? No, it doesn't. The million dollar sales goal is only my own personal sales. So that means not my team, but I have almost sold a million dollars for Stampin' Up. Hi, Brody. I'm happy to see you in here tonight. But um, yeah, so I do earn a commission off my team's sales, whatever they buy and sell under their own demo number. But helping me get... What's helping me get to the million dollar sales goal is my own personal sales when people buy in my store. So, there you go. And did I get the question from Rita yet? Like, I'm still waiting. Jody, where did you go? Rita's question was answered. Okay, good. Thank you, Haley. Hi, Mary. Did I miss any other questions, you guys? I will be back tomorrow. Um, like I said, I have a bunch of cards over there that I'm going to pull from because I'm going to be getting super duper duper busy, um, getting these kits out the door. So you, I've talked about it before. I don't need to bore you with the details, but it's a tr very time consuming and a lot of work and I really need to focus, right? I have to focus for that. Um, how do you know what you got free with celebration now that it's over? That's a really good question, Rita. And, um... If you go to the demonstrator website, once you log in, there's a little menu at the top that says happening now. Click on happening now and then current promotions and one of those items in there is going to have a graphic for celebration redemption. You can go in there and look. You can also just start a demonstrator order in that same website and it's going to um, once you put in enough money to reach like $25 or $40, it's going to show you what you can redeem. So that's a good question. What level am I? I am a, what are the new levels? <laughs> I'm so bad. What's the one right under platinum? Gold elite. I am a gold elite. I was a platinum title for a hot second. And then I was retitled. <laughs> Um, you have to have so many silver elites under you to get to the platinum. And I had a silver, I had enough silver elites to get that title. But it was like September and then October 1st, people retitle if they don't keep their title levels up. And that's when I lost my platinum. <laughs> so like I said, for a hot second, I was platinum. But, um... That's not the most important thing to me. The most important thing is that my team members are happy, that they're learning. Oh, and Jenny made silver today. Good for you, Jenny. Congratulations. It's so exciting. Um, I just want to make sure that my team members are happy and they're getting out of this what they want. If they want to build a business, I want them to be successful and be happy in that. 
if they want to get a discount on all their products, I want them to be successful and happy in that. So it's all about what my team members want out of this whole experience. They can do whatever they want with it. But um, So while I like my team members to promote, I'm not super pushy about it because you're going to do what you're going to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jenny, I'm really excited for you. That's so exciting. I know promotions are just like, wow. One of the cool things about Stampin' Up! is when you get... Gold Elite is like a really sweet spot in the Stampin' Up! ladder. Because once you get to Gold Elite, you get a... Oh, I can't remember if it's 2%, 3%, 4%. Because remember, this isn't the important part for me. I know I'm kind of weird that way. My friends laugh at me all the time because... I'll say, yeah, I just got a $200 bonus. Does anybody know what that's for? And they're like, oh my Lord, how is it you don't know that? But this is the fun part for me. All of that just comes. Um, I'm going to look quick and see. On my report, it'll tell me once you, once I hit Gold Elite, then I get a bonus. And that's a pretty exciting bonus. Oh, shoot. And it's probably not going to tell me here. But it ends up being quite a bit of money if you have, you know, a pretty good sized team. So my bonus is, oh, if you are gold elite, if I'm gold elite, I earn an extra 2% per quarter on my team. And that ends up being quite a bit of money depending on how big your team is. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, what did Haley say? Haley, I have a tiny sip of Bailey's. It worked for me 49 years ago, Char says. <laughs> Yeah, she's having that baby tonight. I can feel it in my bones. So, and that's the other thing we kind of need to discuss, you guys. If she has this baby, um, I don't know if I'll be live. You know what I mean? It depends on what's going on. So just keep that in mind. But also know that I will be your worst night mother. Your, your worst night mother. <laughs> I will be your worst nightmare as a grandma. <laughs> Because you're going to be seeing that baby everywhere. So when I am a grandma, you're going to know about it. <laughs> I know. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's the grandkid again. I know you're going to be like that. <laughs> Haley says, I wish I am not getting my hopes up. It's going to be tonight, Hills. I can feel it. I could just feel it. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go see if Steve wants fish. He'll probably say no, and then I won't go get fish either. But Friday's the best day to get fish because some places don't even have it if it's not Friday. Wisconsin's a little funny like that. <laughs> Jan says, Grandma roll is the best. Um, Debbie says, there's nothing to discuss. Grandma duties come first. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> they do, and they will. Believe me. But yeah, if... um. If I can come in and do a live, I mean, I've, I've got stuff piled here that I can show you. So I'm trying to get a little ahead of the game so that I'm ready for that. Has she been nesting? She's been nesting for months. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Diana's daughter is due May 19th. Well, good luck with that. The catalog will be early for demonstrators. Yes, the catalog is actually going to go live, I think, next week. For demonstrators we're gonna be able to see the new catalog I'm actually in a um, I can't remember what they call it right now but it's a survey group and I, get, I usually get to see the catalog like a year in advance it's kind of cool I'm part of a survey that tries to help Stampin up gauge how much product they need to order in each item so yeah hopefully Rhonda says we will hear baby news when you see me again I hope so I'm excited and you know what I want to know the name of this baby. Today, Haley goes, I hope everybody likes the baby's name. And I'm like, don't tell me. Like, I really want to know, but I want it to wait until the baby's here. So, yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for all the good luck wishes for Haley. I know she appreciates it. And um, Haley loves haddock. My husband put shake and bake on top. Yeah, they, they bake it. It's really, really good. I made it a couple weeks ago. Maybe it was last week. I don't remember. Anyways gonna leave you guys um i'll take a picture of this card i'll look for the link to that other thing and then i gotta get busy on other stuff so watch for that thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to share this video that really helps me out 
and um, share it right to your Facebook profile page. You never know who you're friends with that might be interested in joining us for a little stamping fun. <laughs> Ruth says, good luck, Haley. Push! That's right. Get it out. Get that baby out of there. Um, yeah, so I can stop calling her Weedly, right? <laughs> I think it's so funny. Okay, I'm going to leave you and go see if Steve wants some fish. Have a great Friday, everybody. I will see you back here tomorrow sometime. Bye-bye.